Hello, this is a tutorial on how to export the nodal coordinates from an ANSYS Fluent Mesh. Now there may be other ways of doing this, but I wasn't able to find one. If you know of an easier way to do this, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so say you have a geometry created in a Fluent block, as shown here, and you want to get the coordinates of the nodes on a particular wall, such as this curved wall, which is the one I'm interested in. In the Fluent Measure, there's no way to do it that I've found, but we could do it by connecting the geometry to a mechanical model block, as shown over here in Workbench. This is the original, and here's the mechanical model. Now, it would be nice if ANSYS made it possible to import a mesh into the mechanical block, but as this isn't possible, we'll have to make sure the meshes are the same. So in Mesh, over here, we go through and we create everything the same way that we created it in the Fluent Mesh block, so that we ensure that the coordinates we created in the mechanical block are the same as those created in the Fluent block. So we set any face sizing, edge sizing, and methods to be exactly the same. Once the Mesh is generated, as shown here, and to check, we can look back at our other Mesh and they are identical. Then we can create a named selection. To do this, right click on the model, insert named selection, select by geometry, and we select this curve that we're interested in. I'm going to call it curved wall. Okay, now to get the normal coordinates, we have to create another name selection. This time, we don't do selection by geometry, we do it by the worksheet. So in a worksheet, we need to generate two rows. So right click, add a row. What we want is the edge. We want it as a name selection equal to the curved wall. Then we create another row. This one we want to convert to not node, but a mesh node, as so. When we generate it, we see that it's highlighted the nodes just on that wall. Once we have this, and it says 13 nodes, then we can right click on this and export to a text file. When this is exported, Excel opens up and we see that we have our nodal coordinates. That's all there is to it. Thank you.